Yes, we're going to, we're going to begin by anal analyzing the daily numbers for Brazil, okay? And if you're following me on YouTube, by all means, don't forget to, you know, to click that like button, click the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter today, okay? Okay, so we can see here, Brazil, you, you've had 21.5 million cases, okay? 21.6 million cases, 606,000 plus deaths. Now, as always, you've got to be cautious. Okay, as always, you got to be cautious when we when we look at this the yearly numbers. Okay, because we don't know, for instance, at this point, what the distribution over time of these uh, of these uh, of these uh, of these cases are. Plus, you don't know how many people are vaccinated, but you're very close to doubling the cases for 2021, okay, for 2020, and you've certainly doubled your your deaths for 20. Uh, you certainly doubled 2021, 2020's deaths in 2021. But again, we we don't want to panic too soon. We still have plenty of time to panic, okay? Hello and welcome back to Dave's Day Night Channel. This is Dave. Uh, if you if you stop by, be sure to stop by and say hi. You know, do, you'll drop into the chat message and say hi. Say tell me who you are and where you're located at and what your programming background is, if any. All right. So anyway, let's get back to. Uh, Back to uh, Brazil. So again, you can see th this looks pretty bad, but we don't know what the di what the distribution is over time. We don't know what the vaccination rate is for these folks here either. So if you take a look at uh, at Spain uh, at Brazil's COVID nineteen deaths by day, you can see it's a little different. Some countries you know started here and had a very steep increase up until the first part of the year before going all the way back down. The June before they saw, we saw an increase, but but Brazil, Brazil's interest enough is more of a stair step type of pattern, more gradual incline over a longer longer period of times. Okay, what we can see is that that on uh, June the 23rd, Brazil's cases uh, spiked at uh, 115,228. Okay. But on uh, October 26th, that number fell to 13,424, with an average daily with an average daily cases of 12,712. Okay. Now what about this? You can see sort of this longer uh, approach path to uh, who knows? Maybe this would be a false summit if you're if you're hiking if you're walking back over here. You see this? Oh my gosh! There's the summit. Probably not. But anyway. Uh, a longer trend upward towards towards the spike, and the spike wasn't all the way until April the 6th when you when your death spiked at, or April the 8th when your death spiked at uh, 4,249 deaths for a single day. The good news is this long declining pattern here, and, and as October 26th, your deaths had fallen to four, 442 per day on average, uh, with an average of 347.7 uh, deaths per day. So let's just take a look here and see what uh, what the weekly cases look like. Nothing real surprising. We saw this earlier, right? This this, this increasing pattern over here. Saw so kind of a little dip here, then a, then a new then a new peak, then back over here. We saw something in the June. We saw the long declining pattern for cases, for weekly pattern. And and this pretty much looks exactly as you expected to do. You know, again, good news: the long declining pattern. For the second half of uh, of 2021, in terms of deaths, if we take a look here, here's the good news. You know, this is the good news. This October is going to be the one, two, three, fourth month in a row when uh, Brazil has had a, had a, had a decrease in COVID-19 cases. What about? Uh, well, let's look at this news here. One, two, three, four, five, six. October is going to be the sixth month in a row where uh, where Brazil has had had had. Have or deaths, COVID-19 deaths have decreased in Brazil. Okay, so that takes care of the report for Brazil for today. I'll be right back in this one moment with uh, with uh, Spain.